To start, we need to reline the denture and use it as a special tray and bite block at the same time. Use adhesive to make sure the impression material won't come off from the denture. Spread the impression material evenly and make sure to cover all the borders. If there is no space between the gum and denture, you can use light body impression material. If the denture is loose, regular body works better. Insert the denture carefully and push it from the back to flow the material forward coming out from the front borders, not dropping into the patient's throat. Have the patient close gently in a centric relation. At this point, you need only to take the right vertical dimension, and if teeth are not occluded, it is fine. With a Shinning 3D intraoral scanner, click the removable denture at the bottom left and the full denture top right. For bite record, choose old denture. I have tried a few intraoral scanners and I found out the new Shinning 3D Elite is scanning the dentures easier and faster than others. It also has photogrammetry scanning option, which makes it good for all on X cases. Follow the scan protocol suggested scanner. Start from one side and continue to the other side continuously. Always scan part of the scanned area with the new area. If you jump, scanner may overlap the scan. Check all the scans and if you see any problems, wipe and rescan it. With this method, we have the denture relined and have a chance to choose the better scan, the jaw scan or the relined denture base. The new Sheening 3D scanner has the option to scan edentulous and all on X cases. I tried both options to see which one is faster. To scan the gum after surgery with blood, all on X option works better than any other scanners. If you are satisfied with the upper scan, now scanner gives the lower jaw scanning option. As you see on the lower left side, there is a screen showing the protocol to scan the lower jaw. Make sure you scan as much as gum you can, spatially the rotromolar pads. You may need to hold the patient's tongue with a mouthed mirror, not interfere with the scanning. As you see, I moved the scanner fast and it got confused and started a new area scan. You need more patience scanning the lower jaw since it is narrow and also has the tongue and muscles moving a lot. I deleted the wrong scan area and rescanned it. I also changed the option between edentulous and all on X scanning because the scanner got slow because of the moving muscles and saliva. Now the scanner goes to denture scanning. Always start from the intaglio to have a better scan. Make sure you go continuously. If the scanner has a problem scanning the polished and shining area, you can use sprays suggested for intraoral scanning. After scanning the denture, Sheening 3D tries to align the denture with the jaw. If can't, then you choose three dots on the denture and same area on the gum. Scan the lower denture and align the jaw with the denture intaglio. After scanning the denture, Sheening 3D tries to align the denture with the jaw. If can't, then you choose three dots on the denture and same area on the gum. Place the dentures back and scan the bite. As I mentioned, we need only the jaw relationship at this point. You need to make sure your patient moves and closes the lower jaw as far back as possible. We need to transfer the jaw's relationship to the CAD software and fix the occlusion there. At the end, check all the scans to make sure nothing is missing. If you can get a good scan from the patient's gum, then you do not need to reline the dentures and use them only as bite records. Save the scans and export it to your CAD software. Look how easy and comfortable is scanning compared to taking the impressions. If you have any problems with scans, you can fix it in seconds, but with impressions takes more time and wastes materials.